All right. Here we go. The fight begins. <laughs> oh my god, I have a shield power up. Oh, by the way, did you hear about that whole conspiracy on um, the Psycho Kid wiki? No. Um, the whole controversy. Um, because I visit that wiki a lot because I like posting trivia about the Psycho Dad videos. <laughs> um, you know Jesse Gridray's girlfriend, Juliet, right? Yeah. Supposedly, she went to the wiki and started asking for the pages on her and her family to be removed. Or else she would call the cops on everyone on the wiki. Oh, wow. Uh... And everyone was calling her a big hypocrite because, um, so you're saying she doesn't want this information on a wiki page, yet she's perfectly okay with it being posted on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter? Eh. Because literally, the only information on her that was on that wiki was stuff from the videos. Oh my god. So... I mean, obviously, the administrators complied because they didn't want- they didn't want to get sued, but... And I was calling- I'm not sure what they would get sued for, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. I even called her the next Derek Savage on the common page. <laughs> the next Derek Savage. You know Derek Savage, right? No. Um, no? No. Um, Derek Savage is a guy who directed this really bad children's movie called Cool Cat Saves the Kids. And... Yeah. A channel called Your Movie Sucks did a review of the movie, and he said it was bad. He said it was hilariously bad. Derek Savage found out, and he was like, Yeah, this review's cool. Um, I'll even give you a cameo on my next project. Because it was basically getting him free publicity. But then when other channels like I Hate Everything started doing reviews of the movie, he suddenly threw a huge tantrum. And started taking down the videos, except for Your Movie Sucks. He started taking the videos down all over the place. And he kept threatening them with legal action. And from what, and from what I Hate Everything said in his videos, Derek was practically bullying him. Yeah. And that's kind of what happened on the wiki. Juliet kind of bullied everyone into removing the information when it was nothing inherently wrong with it. Yeah, stupid people, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, do what you gotta do to protect your yourself, but... And by protect yourself, I mean... When you get demands to do something that's unfair, but... I mean, I can kind of understand how... They would want the information... Not pu for ev public for everyone to see, but for one thing, it's not like your social security number is being posted, or your address and all of that. And number two, you're kind of being a hypocrite when you don't want the information on a wiki page, yet you're perfectly fine with tweeting about it all the time. Right? Yeah. How does that make any sense? Yeah. Oh, does Jimmy have to do something here? Oh, wait, let's try and use the flare to kill this thing. Flare! Oh my god, that actually worked. Timmy, kill him. Nice. Now, how the hell are we gonna get over? Oh, Danny has to do his floating thing. <laughs> Live and let die! Speaking of which, I would have to find out there's a way to view Danny's adventures on the Game Boy Advance. Slash DS. I know that one of them was on the DS, but one of them was Game Boy Advance only. 
Too bad I don't have a Game Boy Advance. Not anymore. My dad sold all my methods of playing Game Boy Advance games so that my sister could get a DSi, which we all know doesn't play them. Sure. He did at least let me kiss them goodbye. <laughs> As if that's supposed to be any better. And he just told me to get over it. Then again, I could go to my retro game store, any one of the three or four of them, because there's quite a few of them around here that I discovered. <laughs> one of them's, two of them are very close to my school, one of which is just a shuttle ride away. Like, if I were to grab the school shuttle to, like, a plaza, it's right there. <laughs> and at one of the chain, because it's like two different chains, um... One of them had one of them's like a local chain to my state, and then another one is not a local chain. It's actually almost a countrywide chain. Like they have a few stores, like in my region, and then they have a few. Sh most of their stores are like out, like in the midwestern region. So, but at one of the chains, they were selling Game Boy Advance SPs for like forty bucks. Either that, or I could get a Retron 5, which can play Game Boy Advance games, and get other Game Boy games too, but... What do you think I should do? Hmm. Get the console I can do more? <laughs> yeah, because the Retron 5, well, it can play... It can actually play, let's see, let's count. Well, it's called the Retron 5, so obviously the main attraction is five systems. But then another system can be played through an add-on, and one of those systems is backwards compatible. So that's three more, so eight systems. That yeah. would be the NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Famicom, which is the Japanese NES, and the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance can also play Game Boy Color and original Game Boy games. And then there's also an add-on that will allow you to play Master System games. Well. So, I don't know. I'd have to see if it would be worth the 150 bucks. Either that, or I'd have to buy a GameCube and get a Game Boy player, and that's kind of expensive, especially since I already have a method of playing GameCube games, my Wii. So... Yeah, I never owned a GameCube when I was a kid. I actually kind of really wanted one pretty badly to play, like, Mario Party and all that, but my dad would never let me get one because he said PS2 was enough. Oh, wow. Yeah. In fact, when I back in 2012, I only had th um, three systems. My PS2, my, P my Wii, and my PS3. I didn't have my PS1 back then because my uncle still had it. Because I did have a PS1 when I was a kid, but uh, my uncle took it away. Because I didn't really need it since, well, the PS1, 2, no, 2 can play... PS1 games, but then I want an N64, and my cousin has one, and she doesn't use it anymore, so I asked her if she could give it to me, like, send it with my, send it home with my gram or something like that, and she's like, at first she was like, oh, but I don't know when I'm gonna see ya, and then all of a sudden she was like, you know what, I was actually intending on selling it, I gotta keep it in good condition, and besides, you have too many game systems already. Really? You said that to me back when I only had three. Now, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You can never have too much. I knew a guy in high school who had 15. And then, of course, we all know the Angry Video Game Nerd has, like, 50. I have a friend of mine that actually says that he owns, like... All the main consoles, but I 
I guess I can't confirm that because I actually haven't seen them. I'm just taking his word for it. <laughs> well, if it helps, I'm not really interested in the generations prior to the PS1. The only system, the only retro system I'm missing is the Saturn, but so many games on that are so freaking expensive that I'm not even sure it'd be worth it. I'm pretty sure emulation might not be an option. Yeah, because the Saturn had like unique hardware. I'm not sure if there's Saturn emulators out there. Well, Pro looking now. probably not. And here's the thing: a lot of Saturn games have not been re-released on modern systems. Well, let's see. Like, I'd have to be out of college at a full-time job before I would even consider dropping so much money on something that I don't ne not necessarily interested in. Looks like there are. There are Saturn emulators? Yep. Wow. Huh. Or you know, I guess. Oh, never mind. He can lift this thing. Oh, hang on. All right, Daniel, let's see if you can do this. Go and go. Drop it. Okay, um, now Timmy's turn. So... Yeah, I'd have to look into it. I generally don't like using emulators because, for one thing, I don't think it's exactly considered legal. But then, then again, at the same time, it's like for old games that nobody can get get a hold of new anymore, so the companies can't even make money off them anyway. Yeah, so it's not like it really matters that much. Yeah, as long as like, although people do know that if you use an emulator with a game that you do have an actual copy of, they actually say it is technically legal. Huh. So, in fact, for people who want to play the Dreamcast version of Half-Life, um, they say that you can, you can burn um, the... Because the Dreamcast version of Half-Life did leak on the internet, and you can actually burn it onto a CD and play it on a real Dreamcast. And they say as long as you own a copy of, of Half-Life on Steam, or if you own the PS2 version, then yeah, you could. So, I don't know. I know that Katakaris, um played South Park on his emulator to see if the frames would drop on there, and they still did, so... Oh, by the way, did I ever ask you this question? What's the worst <clears throat> game you've ever played, in your opinion? The worst, the worst game I've ever played was Star Trek Encounters for the PlayStation 2. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Like, I can't even do anything. Like, okay, so you boot into the game, then eventually you control your ship, and you have no idea what's going on, and you just don't know what you're supposed to do. Like, I've flown around for, like, so long that I just couldn't figure it out and just gave up. And also, this was when... I don't think I owned a laptop when I was even doing this, so... I technically didn't even have access to the internet, so... Uh, yeah. That was a problem. <laughs> wow. I didn't even know about game guides until, like, maybe... 2007, 2008. Yeah, back then, I that would've been a noob. I didn't even know about critic reviews, so... Imagine my surprise when I found out the majority of my game collection got negative reviews. It's like, why are they so strict? I love these games!
<laughs> right? And admittedly, I can see the problems with some of I mean, some of them, I think, still hold up, and then others, not so much, but we'll see. As we continue our adventures here. And I gotta break all these, because I gotta get all the coins. Oh, notice that this level looks so bland that I can't even say anything about it. <laughs> How much time? Oh my god, 16 minutes. How much is your video exported? 67%. Wow, we gotta keep doing this. Tell me we'll be visiting fairy worlds. I just realized I read what the estimated time remaining was. Earlier I, said, earlier I said it was a half hour, I thought that was the time that lapsed. I was wrong. That was the amount of time that it says that there is, or at least that what it thinks. Okay, what's the estimated time now? 18 minutes. Oh. It's 68% right now, so. But then once it's done, um, up, what is it, uploading? No, it's exporting right now, and then after the export, I can then upload. Oh, but after the upload, you'll be ready to do your thing. Yep. Okay. Until then, uh... Just gotta wait for it, I guess. <laughs> yep. I suppose so. Isn't this just so lovely? Crocker's got this big fortress that's so bland. He has a teacher. Well, actually, no. What if it's a... Is it a metaphor? Because, like, think about it. School itself is boring, so... What if they made the level boring on purpose? Or at least look boring. Yeah, I can see that. And there's a switch over there we have to press, but the jump's too high. Or wait a sec. No. Daniel ain't getting up there. Oh, wait a second. James. Try it. No, that's not it. Wait, maybe SpongeBob? One bubble bomb coming up. I'm literally just trying to play internet games right now, waiting for yeah. the freaking computer to export. Or a video. Oh, wait a sec, Doodle Bob. The infamous Doodle Bob. Doodle Bob! Uh, no hard feelings, right? Angry face. Die, motherfucker. You're back in school, though, right? Uh, well, today's a Friday, so. I mean, like, you're back in school, though. I've been back in school, yeah. Yeah, I don't go back till Monday. But I'm still this here Monday? week. Yeah, this coming Monday. Oh. Actually, it was kind of cool, because, um... I missed the first Monday. I don't remember why I missed it. 
And then the second Monday, I missed it because I got a stomach ache from eating a whole pizza, and apparently my body didn't like that, so... In return, a lot of pain in my stomach, so I missed that day. And then, the only reason why I'm missing this third Monday is because Martin Luther King Day. So, oh. Yep, so I only have classes day. Monday, I, ha I just have to go back Monday, and I start Tuesday. So what are you doing on Monday then? Just kind of changing around stuff if needed? Uh, no, I just go back Monday night. I don't understand. Huh? Like, like, are you still, like, are you going to be in the classes and actually doing something? Or, like, no. what's going on? No, I'm just going back to the room. The room? Yeah, I live there during the week. Oh, a dorm room. Is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah. Oh, okay. But then I come back here every weekend, so... Oh, so you live in two different places. Yes, I do. My sister ain't gonna be doing that, though. She wants to stay all the time. Then again, I'm, I may debate staying because I don't want to deal with my psycho dog. Because no one else wants to take care of him. So they make yeah. me do it. Figures, right? Yeah. So I basically... My Christmas vacation, all I was doing was watch him. I couldn't work on the review. I barely could work on Let's Play videos. So... And on top of that, you got a little sick. Yeah. But when I'm at school, I could actually try to get the review finished. In fact, actually, I just remember, what did you get for the rest of your Christmas presents? Oh, uh, I got some gift card stuff. That's it? Yeah. Hmm. I spent it on a few games, and this thing is being annoying. What kinds of games did you get? Um, I got... Well, I got the Advanced Warfare Season Pass through the Atlas Pro Edition. I got a big dis... I got like a... I'm hoping to get like a half-price discount on it in the long run. Why we have to teleport? Why not? Apparently, we're going to Fairy World. Sounds like a good thing, right? Yeah, because we're re we're reestablishing the light, I guess, the color. Okay. Oh God. Well, we will bring the rainbow back in the next video.